Hello guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to talk about why exactly I'm returning the Galaxy Buds FE. I had these for about four days. I, test, I tested them, got them brand new. But I'm going to share with you my experience, the problems I had, and and yeah. So so I got these for like a hundred pounds in the UK. So um, so my the main impression is that the they look similar to the Galaxy Buds Plus so um, basically they, they have a wingtip um, design so they, they do stay in the ears uh, fairly well like especially when running and exercising but my issue with them is not the, the, the fit so I mean they, they do provide different sizes for the for the uh, ear tips and the wing uh, there is another wingtip um, that you know it doesn't have a wingtip anyway so if you don't like it you can just take it off but my problem is not with the fit actually because I think it fits well in the ears I mean I'm sure if you had the Galaxy Buds Plus before uh, you will know what I'm talking about they, they are like fairly comfortable but anyway um, so I've used them for about four days and my main issue with them is the sound quality the sound quality is really bad. I, I mean, for a hundred pounds, should be there is like a lot of options that are, you know, they have better sound quality, like this Soundcore um, Liberty Four, I believe, and there is like I I use like different different earbuds uh, at this price range, and they do offer better sound quality. I believe like sound quality for the Buds Plus, the one that came out in 2019, I believe, still had better sound quality than these so it's like the way i can describe it is like uh it's not the sound is not very clear when you play in songs like uh you can notice it um that the sound is like very compressed and it's not very clear uh so it's like uh and also like the vocals are like really low and you get a lot of noise in the background um and the bass is like really low as well so even if you if you use the uh, EQ settings of the app, there's like a uh, different presets for the bass boost and treble boost and stuff like that. Even when you use a bass boost, um, it still like adds more noise to the uh, to the sound. So it doesn't sound very clear and doesn't sound very uh, very um, very. Uh, like it doesn't sound very clear or like um, exciting like. Like when I was listening to them, I just get this feeling like, mm, oh, like you can notice it that it's not very clear. Um, and also when I go out running, like I normally have my phone in my uh, in my pocket, and when I go out running, uh, the connection is not very stable. Like it does cut out for like a split setting, uh, for a sorry for a, a split setting uh, second. So. Like, I don't know, like the Bluetooth connection is not very strong or it's not very stable. Um, so like when you're running outside, there is wind and stuff like that. You can notice like the connection drops for like split uh, second. Um, so that's uh, another issue. Uh, another issue I encountered as well, like the, um, uh, the, the sound codec doesn't have LDA, LDAC. It only has SBC and AAC, but if you have a Samsung uh, smartphone, uh, it uses a Samsung uh, seamless connection codec. But if you don't have a Samsung phone, then you're screwed because you're gonna have to use just AAC or SBC a codec. It doesn't have LDAC or high quality sound. Another thing, like it doesn't have wireless charging. I mean, the Galaxy Buds Plus from like four years ago had wireless charging in them, but these they don't. But they do have long battery life, which, which you know, it compensates for it. Um, but yeah, the, the microphone quality is all right. Um, just standard, like nothing, nothing in, um, interesting. Like it's just normal. Like I mean, it does a job. And also, like the um, the sound cancelling, the ANC is like very, very low. Like. Like you do notice, but like not not so much. Like you can still hear a lot of background noise. Uh, so the the ANC is not that great. Like 
and I, I get it for like this price point but uh but you know I, i've used like better ones at this price point anyway so so i feel like uh uh and also like the uh ambient sound is is uh is better than the ANC so I just feel like the ANC is like really low and you kind of hard to notice it even when you go outside like it's, it's hard to notice um, and the main thing why I'm returning it as well is because I don't know what material they used like I don't know if it's the silicon or like the uh, you know the uh, these copper charging bits on the earbud or the wingtip or the plastic I don't know what these materials they use but when I, when I started using them like my, my ears start getting really itchy when, when I when I wear them or take them off and then my ears they get like really watery after that so I'm getting like a skin irritation from them and I'm getting um, allergic reaction from them I don't know if it's the silicon or the plastic or the the copper charging bits um, so and I had this problem with the Galaxy Pass 2 and the Galaxy Pass 2 Pro as well. I had this problem, and, uh, but I was hoping because this was a similar design than uh, uh, than the Galaxy Pass Plus, because I used to own the Galaxy Pass Plus, and I didn't have a problem with skin irritation in my ears. So I was hoping that this problem would be fixed by now, but it doesn't. Like if if you suffer from like a uh, copper allergic allergy or like silicon allergy or acrylate plastic material uh, then i would advise to stay away from these because i was getting uh, allergic reaction in my ear and uh, and uh, skin irritation so so i'm gonna return these that, that these are like the main downsides and at this price point like i think um it's better to go to go for like nothing air 2 they're like only 20 pounds cheap uh more expensive on amazon uh, or like you could get like a sun sun core liberty 4 they're like 30 30 pounds cheaper than these uh but these i think they should have been 70 pounds not 100 pounds anyway on release for the features that they offer but anyway that's that's everything um I have for you guys these are like my impressions and my review for them i mean if you don't have any allergy then it's fine but as i said like if, if you if you want wireless charging if you want good sound quality if you want um uh, good anc then these are not good for you you know like you need to get something better or um you know, I recommend the Nathan Air 2, like because I try them and, and they don't cause any skin uh, reaction in my ears and they they have better ANC, better sound and they're only like 20 pounds uh, more expensive. Uh, or you can go to other brands, but for these, for 100 pounds, these are not a good deal. Um, and that's why I'm returning them. Anyway, let me know what you think guys, I hope this helped and share me your experience in the comments and if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Peace.